ultrasound during career Icarus is helpful, but you have to be very careful. Welcome back to day 13 of Crit Bits, and I'm here in a boulder field to tell you that ultrasound is a great tool to use during cardiac arrest. You can look for reversible causes of arrest, you can use it to help you guide procedures during the code, and you can also use it to help prognosticate patients looking for cardiac activity. But with all this great stuff, there's data that shows that ultrasound can also hinder chest compressions. It can lead to time off the chest, and this can be bad for coronary perfusion. But here's three tips that you can use to make your ultrasound more efficient during cardiac arrest. Tip number one. One, always be sure to have the most experienced person doing the ultrasound. This is not the time for the medical student to be learning ultrasound on their rotation. There's more opportunities for medical students to scan patients who are less unwell. You need someone who can rapidly do the ultrasound within 10 seconds of rhythm check to get the images that you need and move on. Tip number two, I always tell the code nurse, I would like you to count backwards from 10 during the rhythm check. That's when I'm going to be doing the ultrasound, but I need to hear out loud where we are in the rhythm check. As we get down from five, four, three, I better get off that chest, stop doing ultrasound, wipe things down and get ready for the next round of chest compressions. Tip number three. If you're the person who's doing the ultrasound, don't try to interpret what you see on the screen during that rhythm check. Or just take clips because you'll be taking a look at those clips when CPR resumes offline off the patient as CPR is resuming. During that rhythm check, try to get as many images as possible. Just clip, 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 and then move aside and let the team take over. Again, ultrasound is a great adjunct to your resuscitation, but it can lead to time off the chest. And this can lead to worse outcomes for your patients. That's why I'm a firm believer that